Hello, this is Jenny Austin on behalf of Wessex Archaeology. In this video, we join Wessex Archaeology's dive team as they explore the wreck of the Holland No. 5 submarine, which was built for the Royal Navy in 1903. The Holland series of submarines were built in order to develop the prototype designed by Irishman John Holland into a working vessel. This was done despite initial reluctance to accept the use of submarines as a weapon. That's amazing. This is conning, sir. Hatch is closed. Wow. Is the deadline still attached? Roger that. Third Sea Lord and Controller of the Navy, Rear Admiral Wilson, was quoted as saying, The submarine is an underhand form of warfare and a damned un-English weapon. These are the ventilation scopes. Yet, when other world powers started building and using them, the Navy changed its stance, ordering the Holland-class submarines which were to be used to assess their contribution to naval power. The Holland No. 5 submarine was the last in the series and was the first submarine to be commissioned into the British Navy and given the title HMS. Move back a bit more. Okay, see what you're looking at there? That's the um, torpedo um, hatch. Cool. It's fully intact. I'm closed up. The Holland No. 5 was lost in 1912 off Eastbourne in Sussex whilst it was being towed to Sheerness for decommissioning. The Holland No. 5 lies on the seabed in 35 metres of water. However, the Holland No. 1, which sank off the coast of Devon in 1913, was raised from the seabed in 1982 and is now on display in the Royal Naval Submarine Museum in Gosport. I'll just go really slowly so you get some good video. I'll get some fantastic video. Can you turn your volume up a touch? How's that? Much more? How's that now? That's good. I think this is the compass. Compass? Compass, yeah. But I'm not sure. It's another ventilating tube, I think. Yeah, roger that. There's a lot of net here though. Yeah, you be careful. Oh no, it's just, it's wrapped itself round, it's not actually free floating. Okay, here's another vent tube. Roger that. It's been bent. I'm pulled back. You can see these here, bent as well. Stern. Engine hatch. Moving off to the... The wreck of the Holland No. 5 was discovered in 1995 and Wessex Archaeology's dive team investigated the site in 2005, 2007 and 2008 as shown in this video. Just drop down and get a view of this. Roger that. Is that, a, is that a lobster pot down there? Roger. Roger that. Uh, all the blades there? I'll just count them anyway. Three. some debris around here. I think this might be the... Hydroplane. Nemo's hot. Nemo's hot. Like 
something's been broken off. Let's have a look. Is this where the hydroplane would... Yeah, yeah, that's right. You have hydroplanes, right? And then you also have a guard that goes around the propeller. Yeah, I saw that in the picture you showed me. And would this have been part of the hydroplane here? Yeah, probably. Okay, whenever you're ready. I'll do that. Okay. Left. Roger that. Right Giving you new mo. You want to go north? Uh, not at all. This wreck is protected under the 1973 Protection of Wrecks Act and Wessex Archaeology dived this wreck on behalf of English Heritage. To dive on this wreck requires a government licence. For more information on this wreck and all our coastal marine projects, visit our website at splash.wessexarch.co.uk. For more information on the Protection of Wrecks Act and the work of English Heritage, visit www.english-heritage.org.uk.